Hello and welcome to another update video about gold as we're heading into the weekend. Um, on the gold chart, we see an initial reaction in our resistance area. Uh, we have three levels here to watch that we specified in this resistance area. 2070, broken. 2089, had a reaction. And 2116 dollars. Our idea is still that, um, yeah, we're tracking basically an overall bullish scenario here on the gold chart that a third wave rally could already be in the making. There are several ways how this can be counted. I can count this in a very bullish way, in a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two setup. Um, I decided to count the move of the October lows last year as an ending diagonal pattern to the upside in this wave 5 of 5 of 1, um, which would then afterwards result in a very, yeah, you could say substantial um, pullback. Okay, the idea at the moment is that um, gold futures chart here is basically in this uptrend, possibly in this third wave. In this third wave, because we are dealing with an ending diagonal, we're dealing with an ABC structure. I think that accounts best for the current, currently quite messy price action that we see. Uh, that means also that medium term, possibly 2024, the price could move to $2,500 roughly. So 2024 could really be the year for the metals. Um, we might not just, we, well, we have started already a, a nice rally um, this year. But the thing is, at the moment, we are probably dealing with a very frustrating correction. These corrections in the metals market, they are usually very, very long, very boring. And, you know, because rallies are typically quite strong, the corrections tend to be quite long and boring and frustrating. However, at the moment, we are probably in such a correction and we have some very clear parameters to watch. So for my main scenario here to remain a reasonable assumption and actually a likely scenario, I need to see the price um, hold above 18.94 in any pullback now. A break below that would not be an invalidation of this third wave to the upside, but it would challenge the scenario significantly. The 1894 level is key support. Ideally, in one more pullback, I'd like to see the price get to maybe uh, 1950 or 1894, not below that, because then there is a risk we are resetting wave two lower. Also wouldn't be bearish, but it would certainly be short-term bearish. Now, in the main scenario that I propose here, the price has a good chance to come down in wave C next, maybe in the next few weeks. Ideal target based on what we are dealing with here in terms of structure is well, we can take the length of the A wave, go to the high of the B wave to calculate the 100% extension level. That's one of these key targets. It's at 1933. Obviously, all these FIP support levels are relevant, but 1933 is one of those key levels that, it, that are worth watching for a C wave. Question is, has the C wave already begun? Possibly. Um, Certainly the B wave is long enough. I think we talked about a target in previous videos for the B wave. How did we calculate that? Well, I'm pretty sure I didn't rewatch it. Pretty sure we took the length of the A wave and then compared it with the length of the C wave. And again, the 100% extension level is such a target. Let's see where that actually is. That's a little higher. So it's at $2,104. Um, but it could be okay. I mean, it's basically where it needs to be. It's in the resistance area. These 100% extension levels, sometimes they're not quite reached. Uh, it's not a must, you know, it's more like a guideline as long as it's close. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, let's go to the shorter time frame wave count. Do we actually see already five waves down? So what we need to see is in this C wave, obviously, we need to see a five wave pattern. So let me put that onto the chart. A C wave is always a five wave structure. So it would be something like that. One, two three, four, five. That's sort of how it would likely unfold this C wave to the downside. Um, important would be if this is the case that at any point now, the price stays below 2,098. If, if we see a break above it, then well, this C wave would just get another extension for now. Okay. Um, do we have five waves down already? I can't really clearly see five waves down. 
go to the 15 um, 15 minute chart best i can say is so there are a few possibilities we could say this is a one two and then probably here we had a three four and then is this another but this would be very extended one two three four five so maybe one more low and then we have a very much extended very much of an extended fifth wave doesn't really look right so better interpretation would probably be to count it as a diagonal where we say okay this is a one two and then this here should be the three four with one more low to come and then we have five waves down um just too much overlap here so probably three waves in one three waves in two three waves in three three waves in four and then we need another abc in wave five so possibly we can count five waves down next week or so i will make you aware if i can um either way doesn't give me any strong indication that the wave two corrective rally has started yet but overall this is an overall bullish scenario seems like we need that c wave to the downside though um, that could materialize over the coming weeks but that's all within an overall bullish scenario and 2024 could really be a year of the metals that's my update about gold hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you're interested in daily updates about the s p 500 as well as regular updates about stocks check out our stocks and s p 500 service you'll find the link in the video description it's the patreon membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye